All right, welcome back. 20, what? 20 May, baby, 2024. Quick update. I did a impromptu live stream last night, just kind of playing with the streaming tools and putting out some of my ideology and plans forward with the, what I'm doing with stocks and crypto, Bitcoin, mining, all that crap. All that crap in the hopes of making some money. <laughs> you can always lose it all, but you know, don't invest more than you're willing to lose, right? Anyway, let's follow up real quick. So what am I looking at? Where am I here? I am on Trading View. And I kind of pair Trading View with my stupid Apple app, which I I it's a necessary evil. I don't like it because you have to be over it to make it active to for it to update. It will not update prices if the uh, focus is off the app, which I don't know. There was probably a background mode. Maybe I should look into that, but I'm lazy. So let's go forth and look at where we were talking last night. Tesla's back down. I'm so glad I dumped it. I think I dumped it at 174 last week because I just don't see it. The guy's laying off everybody. No one's interested in EVs anymore. They're a fire hazard. They're hard to insure. You get in any accident. The thing's totaled because the repair cost outweighs the cost of the vehicle at the time uh battery if any of those little cells those little cells look like uh basically batteries right there's just rows of batteries and it's in all these iphone chargers uh what's the other thing i have uh those battery packs for your ryobi tools you know those portable battery packs for tools they're just a bunch of uh in series batteries any of those get damaged you can have a thermal runaway Salt water touches any of those batteries in a e-bike or any of these tools. You drop it in the water and then you charge it up. Fire, fire, fire. Thermal runaway. People are not messing around with that crap anymore. Um, fire departments put these cars out. All that water they use to put out the car. Tons of water. And then all that water runs off into the ground. Water supply polluting the ground. Uh, yeah, it's just not good. So I... I took the loss. I bid it. I'm stupid. I should have set my stop loss. But again, I'm out of it in the hopes I move the funds remaining into other ones like the Bitcoin derivatives to move up. I did buy more Misted today. And look, this is a yield max dividend. Now, it pays a huge, huge, huge dividend. And it's based on morning. Oh, man, I always micro strategy. I always say morning star. Uh, stay away from Morningstar. They have horrible information. Anyway, MicroStrategy is a Michael Saylor. He uh, is heavy Bitcoin boy. He's the Bitcoin golden child. He loves himself some Bitcoin. So this does not purchase MicroStrategy directly or short MicroStrategy. It is an options type game. Same with Connie, which is based on Coinbase. Uh, derivatives in that options. You are not buying it outright or anything. And there's also Crash, which is basically a hedge against Tesla going down. They think Tesla's probably going to go to zero, but they have an algorithm which is uh, based on options as well. You don't own short Tesla in any way. You're not touching it. It's just something they do. Go read about it on the Max site. <clears throat> For clarity, I, uh, I uh, own Crash. I own Misty. Like I said, I bought some more today. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's go down. Blah, 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 blah. Let's see where we at. So that was one purchase. This is Monday morning. Before, that's noon now. But anyway, I did not buy uranium. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Let's see. I just, I just blah, blah, blah. Cause it's the same old crap I say. Uh, I did buy Hecla mining, which is a silver mining. Boom. I'm back in the metals game. Silver mining. I did have, uh, FCX, which is copper. And again, I'm doing the doubles, man. Just trying to get my 10 to 15% and get out, get out, get out, make a couple bucks, snowball that. And I did that with FCX. And uh, I was starting to, starting to spread myself a little thin here, which I need to, you know, break even on a couple of little ones I had, like energy ones are kind of down. Hopefully this comes back up. I'm gonna get out of this and focus on the um, metal miners. I'm already loaded up on Bitcoin, FBTC, uh, the Wolf Miner, which is a crypto Bitcoin miner. It's back up. Look at that. So here's Wolf. All right, let's talk about this. Freaking earnings, right? Earnings came out last week and it was not good. And there's the chart, big daddies. Look at that. It was at two, two, oh, it was up there. Well, come on. 
It was higher than that. It was like 210. Earnings came out, not good. Tanks back down below two dollars. I went, ah, crap. Oh, look at it. it's not even refreshing. And uh, now it's back up. You just don't know, even with bad earnings. And then you get these idiot forecasters, analyst. I call them anal list. <laughs> People that can't are either uh, teachers or analysts, right? Or work in the federal government. Uh, yeah, they they uh, they just made it bearish, but the things back up to above where it was before the bad earnings. Go figure. You just do not know it. It is, guys. I'm telling you. It's speculation. It's gambling. It, it, I, I say I don't gamble bull crap. This is worse than going to the casino. You just don't know. Like with Wolf is a perfect example. Uh, it was doing well. I was up 15%. I took my eye off the prize and could have made my double, but I didn't. I was watching. Uh, I think I got focused into the yield max things and forgot Wolf. And Wolf then went below, uh, back down to like 4%. And I said, all right, I'll hold it. It went down below because of the bad earnings. I went, oh, crap. I'm in the hole. Now it's back up. You just do not know. I kind of prefer now the doubles if I'm up. I see that 15%. You got to almost go in when you buy this crap. Set your sell limit orders. Just go, hey, I'm happy. If this thing does go well, I'm going to put my I'm very happy price at 15%, 10%. Boom, get out. You got you got made a couple bucks. And then rinse and repeat. I mean, that that's kind of the trading thing. Uh, holding this for weeks and two years in the hopium it's going to go up will drive you mad, especially when you're not getting a dividend on some of this crap. You're just, money's just sitting there and uh, you miss the boat. So yeah, it's all how you want to play it, but that's what I'm doing. I'm Take those damn doubles and snowball this stuff. Uh, Tesla, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> uh, HL, like I said, look at that. We're going up since I bought it. It's $6.22. Uh, yeah, so I'm up on that already a couple bucks. And you do get a baby yield, which is cute. Uh, so, yeah, silver. Again, I did mention I owned I owned past tense metal. I had the coins, the troy ounces, and some gold. I'm like, what the hell am I going to do with this? And I actually sold it probably a couple of years ago. Had to mail it into an, a metal person uh, online, or, um, you know, ship it, protected, secure, and then you get paid. It's so stupid. I go, this is not practical. Owning it outright is not practical. Doing it through these uh, mining companies is a nice way to do it. And I'm not a big thing of the bond funds, like uh, or the mutual funds. You can buy gold and all that crap. I'm not big. I'm big on those. I don't know. I just don't like them. It's all what you're. It's all what you're used to, and I don't want to own it. So I figure, hey, mining companies, go with the people that make the crap. And same with Bitcoin. You know, Wolf, go with the people that are creating Bitcoin, mining it. Right. Uh, you can own Bitcoin. I do own some, but again, looking at all this other ways to you know get in these through the der the derivatives from uh, again, Bitcoin is the best example out there. Uh, let's see. We have. I'll go over it real quick. You can do the yield maxes, <clears throat> the options, algorithms on Connie, which is Coinbase, Misty, MicroStrategy, one way right there, boom. Very high risk, very super duper, extremely high risk. Uh, yeah, don't take your eye off this puppy. Maybe make your doubles get in and get out. It's just a high, high risk play. Uh, then you have next, like I said, Wolf, you go out to the Bitcoin miners. Like I said, look at that thing. It's back up. Unreal. You know what I mean? Uh, so there's the other way. Uh, next way is the ETFs. For example, Fidelity has one. The Bitwise. The Wise Origin Bitcoin FBTC. Uh, BlackRock. Fidelity all have their. And Grayscale. Boo. Grayscale is horrible. Because their fees were incredibly high. People bailed out of it. saying, man, you guys are just greed out the butt. So they bailed out of it and all that. Oh, we got a storm coming in. Flood advisory, blah, 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 blah. All right, whatever. Uh, everyone bailed on Grayscale, calling Bitcoin to go down a bit. And now Fidelity is free, no transactions until August. They want people in it. So they made it inviting. So there you go. So up until August, you have no transaction fees or anything, expense, whatever. So it's nice. And again, I trade all these through a Roth IRA, which makes it easier too as well. Uh, for gains and all that crap. Next, of course, is the go hardcore or go home is uh, buying Bitcoin directly through an exchange and then putting it in a wallet, secure it from 
uh, scams, phising, uh, ripoffs. You just got to watch it or exchanges going down. You can buy it directly. So that's the other part of this. All right, you already know that. Beating a dead horse. Uh, da, da, da. I do have traditional stuff yet. I dumped all my drips except for my index 500 fund because I still think there's some juice left in this market from uh, all the layoffs and then companies buying back their stock to keep the numbers high until the election. Uh, they're trying to prop this puppy up, but it's going to fall apart around election time, probably September or so. And then I also have Exxon, which is teetering. It's not bad. It was at 116, back up to 119. Heyday, it was in the 120s. Beautiful. Uh, a derivative of Exxon. You can also get into these XLE. And then you can also get into EPD, which is an energy uh, enterprise products partner for delivering of this natural gas and uh, energy stuff like that. They pay a dividend, 7.21%. Not too schnabby. Uh, yeah, so I have that as well. And there's energy transfer partners as well, similar but different. And they pay the same 7.96 versus 7.21. This app is slow. This trading view, I tell you, when you run trading view, it really is a performance hog. So I like it. So yeah, they're making me want to buy something. I have not found the need to purchase it yet because I'm just doing it for quick, quick eyeballing of what my stuff is doing. Misty's up almost five percent. I like this. Look at it. Wolfie's up five percent from its uh, correction on Friday or the earnings correction. And there's a silver miner up. Four, wow, that jumped 4.5%. So that's another silver mine I didn't get. I went into this one. Interesting. I'll have to go look at that one now. Yeah, you just don't know, right? Oops, excuse me. All right, on that note, 11 minutes. Oh my God, I got to stop making these damn videos. All right, there you go. That's what I'm doing. Go forth, do great things. Let me know what you're up to. Again, not financial advice. If you're listening to any idiot on YouTube about stocks, money, you're, you're a fool. But doubt, but verify it. Everything I said, hey, you can hear me. Now go research it. That's my advice to you. Take an hour. Start reading some stuff. Read maybe. Don't just read the headlines. Read in a little bit. Look at some analyst stuff. Trading is a great place to start because uh, they have the news, analyst uh, rankings. Uh, uh, what do you call it? What's, oh, God, hold on a sec. Technicals. That's what I was thinking of. You can go in there, click on the technicals like right here. Oh, it's a strong buy. Look at that. More technicals. Click on this in trading view and you get all this nice little gidgety gadgety stuff. Uh, summary. That's short term. Strong. I don't know why they're saying sell. That's interesting. It was strong buy before. I know I'm holding this puppy because I think the Bitcoin miner is going to do well. And today just shows that it. it's just jumped 5%. That is odd that they went down to that. Interesting. Oh, well, we'll see what goes on with that. On that note, I'm out. Go forth. Let's see what you guys are doing. Post below what you're buying. If you're buying anything or you're going right to cash and then, you know, building your bunker and prepping, <laughs> buying food and water for the great economic collapse of 2024, probably hitting Q4, probably hitting the Q4 after the election and probably after the election. If things stay this, the way they are, we're probably going to go full socialist if not communist mode in this country. So prepare accordingly. It's just, I, mean, I don't know how you're going to stop it, guys. If, uh, yeah, if we stay the course and things go like they did before, it's not going to go well. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell you. The layoffs are bad. Economy's bad. I, I don't know. Socialism is good until you run out of other people's money and we'll become Venezuela. So I think that's the way we're headed. It's not going to be pretty. Uh, so I don't know what to do. You just got to maybe look out for yourself and look out for your family and hoard some cash, man. Make some cash off this market. Get the breadcrumbs you can from the guys that know what they're doing with the big money. Uh, billionaires have all fled the market, man. They're, they have dumped their equities. So take that as a sign, right? Storms are coming. All right. On that note, I'm out. Talk to you later.